The Fools of Elders, a great millstone, rule well on that body spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that is out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shai to the best of their ability. Zach Nanawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the spirit. I just wanted to touch on this article. It was actually on 2020. And as you can see, the nigger woman in the handcuffs right there. And I will say nigger woman because she's definitely a nigger woman. Um, but this is the article. You could probably pull this up on YouTube or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They do have, I'm not going to play it, you know what I'm saying, for the, on the strength of, you know, the copyright um, hookups. But you can watch this. It's, it should be nothing to find. Shouldn't be hard find, hard to find at all. But this is um ABC News. Army sergeant's death uncovers secret affair murder plot. Right. Okay, so it says on New Year's Eve, Sergeant Tyrone Hassel III was shot multiple times as he stood near his vehicle in the driveway of his father's home in Michigan, where he was staying with his wife and their almost two-year-old son. The shooting, the shooting prompted a panic 911 call from Hassel's wife, because she was in the Army too, right? Who was inside the home at the time. Jer Jeremy Peppers, one of the St. Joseph's Township police officers responded to the scene, told 2020 he remembered Camille Hassel being emotionally distraught as her husband was dying. Right? The actor, the actress rather. She's, she's so distraught, right? We were lifting the gurney onto the back of the ambulance that, that got him in there. And I stepped back. She's going past me and trying to climb into the ambulance, Pe Pepper said. So she's really putting on the act, right? Now, one thing I wanted to say about this, too. Both of them are in the Army. And what you're going to see is the guy that actually done, you know, that she was having the affair with, you know. Uh, you know, he was in the Army, too. So where's all this integrity? Where are all these, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you know, I'm fighting for the country and all these rules and regulations they have your ass doing when you're getting up at four in the morning doing jumping jacks and, and, and running five, six, seven, ten miles and climbing under damn bu um, barbed wire and all this other shit and all this, so, you know, yes, sir, and all this saluting when a motherfucker walk into the room. But you don't have the en enough integrity for your own people. To say, no, nah, I'm not going to deal with brothers. Um, and see, this this is where um, adultery, this is what adultery gets you. You see? Okay, but it says, um, on 2020, Aaron, February 16th, if, if you yeah, aired a few days back. And streaming on Hulu, so you can get it on Hulu if you got Hulu. The next day explores the case and investigations that led to Camille being sent away for life. The show includes interviews with key investigators and family members who said they were shocked when they learned the truth about Camille. And this is why I'm telling you, man, look, the apostles always say, stay away from the black woman. Stay away from the so-called black woman, man. Like, for real. Like this, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, the situation is just dire for Israelites in, in general. Just so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, look, this is the reason why... The Lord gave us the commandments, the laws, the statutes. And, and he told us, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you do these things, you're going to live and you're going to be above all nations. If you don't, all these calamities, all these diseases, all this shit going to come upon you. You know what I'm saying? Because our people just hard headed as hell and stiff neck, man. But anyway, it says, um... It's streaming on Hulu. Next day explores the case and the investigation that led Camille being sent away for life. The show includes interviews with key investigators and family members who said they were shocked when they learned the truth about Camille. It's not shocking to me. <laughs> you know, and, and this is crazy, but oh man, boy. Tyrone Hessel Jr., the victim's father, told 2020 that his son decided to enlist to the military while he was in college. Now, for another thing, why are you enlisting to this man's military? And a lot of the times, Jake do go to these militaries just to just try and just do something better for themselves. They don't want to go to war. They're not expecting to go to war. If it's got anything to do with war, Jake backing off. But see, the so-called white man, he has made it to the, to the point where, you know, he does these commercials. He tells you about how you can go to college, how you can get these, you know, Gia, these, you know, the funds to do certain things. And you can go and travel here and go and do this and go. He, he, he makes it seem as if it's this, this great thing. But in the meanwhile... 
you know, he's really using you to go and rob other nations. Okay, but anyway, it says, Tyrone Hassel Jr.'s victim father uh, told 2020 that his son decided to enlist in the military while he was in college. He should have just stayed in college. He should have just went on and just got the so-called white man's degree, went on out in the world and tried to get him a job. It says he was motivated to do better. He lived here and he knew it was he, he knew it wasn't nothing here, nothing going on. And that's a part of the curses too. What Jake gotta do, you know, gotta get out here and try and do certain things. Okay, it says Sergeant Hassel met Camille in the army. While they were at Fort Carson in um, Colorado, their relationship quickly became serious. So obviously she's a person that, you know, first nigga she jumped, you know, anybody giving her some attention, she's giving it back from the looks of it. It says, when I heard of his relationship with Camille, he was getting engaged. Camille would soon have a son and the Hassel family says she had a good relationship with them, which held the son might not even be his. At the time of Sergeant Hassel's murder, Camille and, and Sergeant Hassel were on block leave from Fort Stewart in Georgia, where Specialist Camille Hassel worked as a truck driver and Sergeant Hassel worked as a wheel mechanic. Now, see, had she not been in that military, she wouldn't have been able to have an affair with another um, serviceman. Because women are not supposed to be in no fucking militaries, man. But this is Esau Edom's kingdom. This is how you know the so-called white man, he has to go because everything he puts together is chaos. That's why so much adultery in this country because these women are at these jobs talking about my work husband this, my work husband that, but got a full-fledged husband at home, right? And if your woman is out here, hey, I got to just say it, man. I mean, it is what it is. Your woman out here and she's working a job and she's going um, to do a nine to five or whatever shift that she's doing, and, and, and you might as well just already understand and know that she's more than likely She's, she's dealing with somebody, man. It's just that simple. You, know, you can't be shocked by this shit. The scriptures talks about, you know, keeping your daughter in straight and, and not being, um, you know, roughly per paraphrasing, shocked if she's doing something. You, that's something that you just have to accept. You had to be ready and set to even to accept that type of news. You just have to be because it can pop up and happen at any point in the game. Just so happened for this guy right here, and I don't want to go too much further into the story, but you know, because we can ease on down and get into it. But you know, here she go all smiling, laughing, giggling. Here you go, you at this man's parents' house. You at his parents, you, you living with him and his parents, and you pull this shit, man. Okay, but um, let me see, though. I do want to get this part. Let me see. Uh, it says after he was killed the family said they came together to help Camille as she mourned now she's sitting here mourning most of the day she would just sit on the couch and wouldn't move wouldn't go nowhere okay police said Camille cooperated with the investigation speaking to police multiple times on New Year's Eve Camille said she stayed at home with their young son while Sergeant Hassel was at a family party Setting him up, bro. It's crazy. During one interview with the police, Camille was asked if she, she had life insurance. She mentioned she was going to receive $400,000 from the Army. There you go. That money, $400,000. She repeatedly told officers she had no idea who would target her husband. Okay. And, and you already know. Hey, well, See, when shit like this happened, the first people they're looking at is the spouse. Investigators had a couple of clues, including a neighbor who noticed a man get out of a black car right after the shooting. Um, get into a black car right after the shooting. 11 days after Sergeant Hassel's killing, the investigation took a dramatic turn when police received an anonymous tip from a woman. The woman claimed that her son was in the military and that her son knew Camille was having a relationship with another soldier. She didn't really elaborate too much on that, but she didn't hint. She did hint that there wasn't a relationship between that Camille was involved in that Camille was involved in that may have led to something like this, Pepper said. Right? Because this motherfucker's a damn psycho. So you can imagine, you know, uh, these dudes, man, they go, they, they're in the, mil the American military, they go to these other countries. You, you can only imagine what some of these, these, um, these servicemen be doing to these other people in these other countries, you know, third world countries, so to speak, that don't really have, you know, a lot of say. Because, see, when America goes set up shop in these countries, it's almost like the, as if they're in America, especially them so-called white men. They go, they run through town, they do what they want to do. They don't be brought up on no charges for any of the crimes. They raping the women. They doing all these different things, you know, causing all kinds of chaos and violence. And then they just get on a plane, come back home, and, you know, and you get to see how crazy the asses is then. Okay, but it says, 
According to the uh, St. Joseph's Township Police Department, the same day that call was made, the two soldiers at Fort Stewart came forward to the Army's Criminal Investigation Division with fear about one of their friends. Spe uh, special agent, um, um, oh, this is the guy right here, Jeremy Kohler, who drove a truck on the base, right? So they scared of this nigga. They already know he a goddamn fool. Jaquan Hamilton told investigators he was aware of the relationship between Camille and Kohler that was kept from her husband and that he was feeling anxious about his own safety. So he already knowing if I say anything. So they scared of this dude. So how do people like this end up in the army, bro? So you have to know that with the recruitment shorts that they got right now, they're going to accept anybody. It says the um, army, the army criminal investigation division immediately lost its own investigation and conducted multiple interviews with soldiers who knew Camille Hassel and Jeremy Kohler. Special Agent Zachary Roberts of the Army told 2020 that a friend of Kohler said that Kohler stated that Camille Hassel was his girl and that Sergeant Hassel had to go. What is the scriptures talks about with committing adultery, man? This is adultery right here when you're dealing with another man's woman. Adultery is not a man out here dealing with a, a, a woman that, you know what I'm saying, that's, um, you know, and she's single. A man is dealing with a woman and, and she's with someone. And she's dealing with some man and she's married. That's adultery right there. See, the Christian church, they got you thinking that, you know, um, the man didn't get on bended knee. He didn't give you a ring. And the so-called white man didn't pronounce you man and wife. And, 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 and now all of a sudden you dealing with a woman. That's adultery. They call it out of wedlock. Oh, you living with somebody out of wedlock. That's not what adultery is. This is the perfect case of adultery. This woman stepping out on her husband. And to the point where, you know what I'm saying, he's just happy-go-lucky. He's just thinking that everything is okay. He's coming home. He's going to work. And this bitch is set up with a with an asshole that, you know what I'm saying, she don't... Uh, it's crazy, bro. This shit is retarded. He don't even know that... And that's why, you know, you know, we, we talk about how it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God and how the Lord has spirits of vengeance out here, man, to do you dirty. He don't even know that the Lord is, you know, what he done, may, what, it, what he may have done in his past. Like, who knows? He could have been doing some wicked shit, too, you know, to even end up with a wicked ass woman like that. And for something like that to happen to him like that, because he don't even know what's up. Some motherfucker saying, no, this is my girl. They ain't ever talked, they ain't never met, they ain't had no conversation, they ain't had no fight over her. This motherfucker just like, no, nope, uh-uh, your wife is my woman. <laughs> and I'm gonna do something about it. And then you got the 400,000 up, and you know, she's got, she's got a part in it. She, had a, she, she helped with the plot. Okay, it says, um... Jaquan Hamilton told investigators he was aware of the relationship between Camille and Caller. Okay, the Army investigators, they lost their own um, investigation, okay? Sergeant a Agent Zachary Roberts of the Army told 2020 that a friend of Caller said that Caller stated that Camille Hassel was his girl and that Hassel had to go. The CID investigation learned that Sergeant Tadarius Golston had sold Caller two guns prior to the shooting one of which matched the caliber used to kill Sergeant Hassel. They also learned that Caller had allegedly described to Hamilton how he said he, he killed Sergeant Hassel. So this, 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 look at this clown. Jake, man. He's telling his best buddy on the base what he did after he shot him. He stood over him and, and put, one in his, put one in his head to confirm the kill. One of the shots was directly in the forehead. Golly. Over a chick, man. That's why the scriptures talks about um, a man going out of his wit for a woman. Matter of fact, you know what? Because I've been going into it. Let me see here, man. You got to be a goddamn. And she ain't even fine. That's the crazy part. I'm trying to think what that scripture is at. So bear with me for a hot sec here. This shit is retarded, bro. I'm trying to think how it's worded. Nope, that ain't it. It could be spelled another way. Mm. Oh, I can't think how it is. Let me see. Uh, this is a clip.
another human. Love is kindled as a fire. And also, matter of fact, we can go into, uh, let's go into this whole book right here is pretty much dedicated almost to um, the women, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 25 and uh, verse 20 and chapter 26. Let's see here. You can almost you can read the whole chapter, really. Verse 13, Ecclesiastes 25 and 13, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman, man. For real, for real, because that's that's wickedness right there, man. You on an army base where everybody know everybody and you dealing with somebody else and a fool like that. Uh, Let me see. Verse 16, I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like a sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Shit is crazy, bro. But again, like I said, I'm, I wanted to get that one where roughly paraphrasing, though, it talks about men going out of their wits for women, man. It's a lot of men that are in graves. It's a lot of men that are in jail because of a woman. And this lady ain't even fine, bro. That's the crazy part. And she ain't even, you know, like no super beauty. Verse 23, it says, a wicked woman abateth the courage maketh a heavy countenance and a wounded heart of a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees incredible bro let me get some more let me see what else we got in here see the, hey, the scripture says don't hey don't don't lose your mind over these women man don't lose your mind over these women because there's plenty of them man i'm talking about men go to work they can work hard and go hard as shit this nigga working two, three jobs. He's out here doing all the nastiness. He's taking care of all the bills. He's doing everything that he can to keep her happy. And she's just out here just doing all the nastiness. What's that scripture talks about? Um, she. All right, I'm trying to think what that one's at. Uh, open her quiver. There's so many scriptures coming to mind. So lock here, y'all. I might be spelling this one wrong. Oh, this is it right here. It was chapter 26. Like I said, hey, there's plenty of these baby, these boys in um Ecclesiastes chapter 25 and chapter 26. You want to you want to get up on on the one on the woman, the Lord giving game on the woman, reading them chapters. I'm going to start it. Let me see here. This might be the chapter I was looking for to, uh, to begin with. Verse one, blessed is the man that have a virtuous wife for the number of his days shall be doubled. Well, you know, she wasn't virtuous. A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. Well, you know, she wasn't virtuous. A good wife is a good portion which shall be given in a portion of to them of them that fear the Lord. So, you know, he didn't fear the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of them did. Well, you can clearly see this. It says, whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart towards the Lord, he shall at all times rejoice with cheerful countenance. Mm. There be th three things that mine heart feared, and for the fourth, I was so afraid, the slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue which communicated with her. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hath hold on her is as though he held a scorpion, a drunken woman, and a gatherer abroad cause it great anger and she will not cover her own shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids and eyelids. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. Lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. 
watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespasses against thee. See that? She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water nearby. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Now you have to know what that means. She gonna open them legs up. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband and her discretion will fat his bones. A silent and lovely woman is a gift of the Lord and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace. Her continent mind, her continent mind cannot be valued. See? See? And it goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? Verse 23, it says, A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of the Lord. So this nigga must have been wicked, man, in some, some type of way. Anyway, though, I wanted to just get on down. Look at this nigga, man. But that's why that, you know, as a matter of fact, had I gone back into chapter 25, you're not supposed to be, you know, with nobody else, around nobody else's woman like that. Let me see. Trying to think what that one's at. You're not supposed to, hey, you're not supposed to be around nobody else's wife like that. I'm trying to think how it was word, worded. I know it's in the Apocrypha, though. I might be even spelling this wrong. Apocrypha, these um, 1611 Bibles, they spell words a little bit differently, and you kind of got to put, them in, put it in um, perfectly, so to speak. No, but anyway, it talks about not sitting at, not sitting with her, you know what I'm saying? Let me see, though. Yep, here we go. Ecclesiastes 9 and 9. It says, Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at, at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and so, th and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. See? So he fell into destruction by even dealing with her. Because why? He's not getting out of jail. This nigga going to be, and he's going to be right off in there when the missiles hit. Okay, but I wanted to just go ahead and get on to the point. I'm going to end out. I'm not going to keep it much longer. Camille, okay, so, you know, they're investigating her, right? It's, she says um, she denied that she was involved with Kohler multiple times, despite the officers confronting her, claiming knowledge of her affair with Jeremy Kohler. Camille was asked to take a polygraph test and she agreed. After being told she was lying, Camille Hassel was interviewed again and finally confessed. Now, you you know your ass not passing no damn a lie detector test. Camille opened up to investigators and admitted she had an affair with Caller and gave details about her role in her husband's murder. She signed a police document admitting to plotting to kill Sergeant Hassel and was arrested on January 12th. Okay, the Hassel family said they were shook. They were shocked. I couldn't believe it. Ashanti Hassel, the victim stepmother, told 2020, I was kind of angry because I sat there with Camille and we catered to her for 12 days. So, you know, they sitting there with her, consoling her. And, and in the back of this bitch mind, she know what she done done. She waiting on the 400,000 to come through. She just thought that it was going to be simple. What you about to ride off into the sun with this nigga? You about to be with this crazy nigga? Come on, bro. While in jail, Camille called her mother and admitted to the plot to kill her husband. The conversation, which, she, which was recorded by the jail, was used as evidence in her, her criminal trial. And there she go. And like I said, look at her. This who y'all killing over? You gonna kill another man over this? Come on, bro. Prosecutors were also you. Prosecutors would also use cell phone records that they said show Collier and Camille were communicating in the hours leading up to the shooting. Camille's attorney, Chris Kezel, contended his client was co coerced by Seller Kohler into going forward with the murder plot. Mm, co coerced. Get the hell out of here. And that lets you know another thing, too, about America's legal system, their justice system, where you can actually have somebody defending you knowing that you've done this shit. 
You're supposed to be doing the investigation. The investigation find out that your ass done what you've done and you get the business from there. Shit crazy, bro. Okay, it says, um, there is no doubt in my mind that had Camille never met Jeremy Culler, this never would have happened. Oh, of course. No, it wouldn't have happened. Had she just not, if she had been a damn wife, had he hit on her, she should have just, no, nah, I'm, I'm married. And that's that. Keep it pushing. But she shouldn't have been there to begin with. That's the thing. Here you go. It's only a, a, a few women really in the military like that. It's not a whole bunch of women, you know, where there's this ratio of, you know, they're, you know, they're outnumbering the men and, and men got all these choices, man. You see? You 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 in the inhabitants of men, they working out. They're pretty, you know. Generally, they're pretty physical, physically in shape. You know what I'm saying? You you just looking around and just got the pick of the litter. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She ain't had no business there. But that's why the scripture says that a woman shouldn't be usurping authority over the man. She's there on her monthly. She's defiling every damn thing. She's all in the cafeteria. She's all you know, he 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 he, giggling and shit in niggas' faces. Come on, bro. This man's kingdom got to go, bro. It says, um, there's no doubt in my mind that had Camille never okay met him, it wouldn't have happened. Kohler contended that Camille called him and asked him to come back to the house when she confirmed her husband was returning to bring food. Okay, well, and you're going to let a bitch tell you, hey, come and kill this, you know, do, you know, off this motherfucker. I got a $400,000, you know, hook. Come on, bro. You, yeah, you brothers be stronger than that, man, with these chicks, man. Camille was convicted of first degree premeditated mur murder and conspiracy to commit first degree murder. She got life in prison without parole. And this dude, he only got 65 to 90 years. Said so he, he, he later requested to withdraw his plea. Camille and Sergeant Hassel's son, Tyrone Hassel IV, lives with Camille's mother. Which that, that boy might not even be his. They should have done a DNA test immediately. And gave him to gave the little boy to whoever or, or who, whoever raised her silly ass. That shit is retarded, bro. Uh, anyway, that's the story. You know, I just wanted to go off into that. Um, hey, be careful, be um use wisdom, be circumspect with dealing with um uh, hey. I, I mean, come on. The so-called black woman is an enemy against us, man. Isn't it? That's just the way that the so-called white man set it up. You cannot get around it. As a matter of fact, let me get this one, too, because this is this is one of the curses that we're under as a people right here. This is how you know we are the children of Israel right here. Because basically what they done is is right here in the scriptures. That evil eye, man, against the brethren, man. I'm going to start at verse 54. It says, um, Deuteronomy 28 and 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. So that military guy, you know, he appears to be a Jake, you know, why, you know, you're, you know, his eye was evil towards his brother. You going to kill your brother over his woman, his wife, all these women out here. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Now, let's get to verse 56. Sin. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tender. Her son, because now you in jail, you know what I'm saying? The daddy's gone. You know, now your son is being raised, you know, you know, with his grandparents, which, you know, could possibly put a burden on them. I'm not sure how old they are. Well, you know, the, the you know, the grand, the grandfather looked, he didn't appear to be that old like that. But I'm saying, I mean, come on, man, that's very evil. That's an evil eye towards your husband. You premeditate and plot the murder of your husband and you stand with him at his parents house. He ain't at your house. He ain't at your parents house. You living with them, and this is shit you do? Come on, bro. Man, I'm telling you, man. Hey, but that lets you know how wicked of a world that we're in, and that it, this is Esau Edom's kingdom. When you get to the source of the matter, when you get to the, the real source of the problem, the real source, when you 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 scale back, all right, let's get to the prop the real source of this shit. 
It's the so-called white man. Because he set it up where women can be in the military, women can be over men, men got, I mean, women got to go out into the workforce and do all these things, have their little work husbands. I seen a TikTok last night. And this was a, well, you know, it was a couple like in their 40s. You know, mid 40s, almost 50 or so. And you know, they got, you know, they got that challenge where, you know what I'm saying, um, do you, you know, um, trust your 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 partner or trust your spouse and, and they do the test they like well trade phones and man and the guy he seemed like an upsetting guy seemed like he was in love with her he's like yeah man we've been together 15 years you know what i'm saying you know a little bit longer than that you know i get they were married 15 years what was together a little longer than that you know just be, you know before they got married so maybe 18 years or so but anyway he was like yeah man hell yeah you know yeah well, you know we can do the test he instantly gave his phone up. Her? Sure. Man. And then the dude, he was sitting there looking like, Shh, man. The husband was looking like, yeah, I know you hiding something from me. And it was just sad. It was real sad to see. It was real sad to see. And, and, and you know what? I, I wouldn't have doubted if he, you know, because he seemed to be like somewhat of a simp. But, you know, hey, even simps, man, to get to a point of, you know, like, you know what? Well, what the fuck am I doing all this for? I'm going to work. I'm paying her car note. I'm paying her insurance. I'm giving her money to get her hair and nails done. Even though, you know, she she's she's keeping all her money to herself. I'm not even asking her for nothing. I'm handling everything. And she's out here just doing what she wants to do. <laughs> but that's the that's the kingdom that you're in. This is why we know that this this kingdom of Esau, it has to go. There's not gonna be no women out here with no work husbands in the in the kingdom. They're gonna be in order. And that's the reason why a lot of women don't like that Isaiah 4 and 1 scripture coming out. Stand the fact that it's going to be men that's. You're going to be sharing some sister wives, so to speak. That's what's coming. Order is coming back right now in this kingdom. The woman is on top. That's why if you, you know, you got a job and you got your, hey, get your, have your own place. Do your own thing. You know. Don't move in with her and don't let her move in with you. <laughs> to be. Like, you know, I, I, he's not going to ever be able to tell me, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be in a situation where a woman can tell you, get the fuck out. Her name is on the lease only and you living with her. No, nah, no, nah, you don't. You know, I'm going to a hotel and I'm, I'm just going to, you know, that's where I'll be until I, I, you know, go ahead and get me something else. But you done been together for fucking. Man, 50 years. You know what I'm saying? You've been. My brother. If you don't give a fuck. That's nice of you. Thank you. I'll look out and we both look out for each other. But I'm not going to ever be in a position where you're going to be able to say, nigga, get out. I'm not going to be in these streets. I, my, one of my cousins is like that. About two years back, in the dead of winter, on the on the on the biggest snow, he out this motherfucker with some glad bags. He ain't even had no luggage. He out here with some damn glad bags. She done put him out of the house, man. The hell out of here, man. No, no, don't no, no. The, the so-called black woman is not worth that these days. It's too much shit going on. We too close to the end, and the Lord is 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 really showing you. How the enemy has has really, you know, taken us down, man. 
and he has used the so-called black woman. We love our women, but there's nothing you can do about her being an enemy. She's a damn enemy because she goes along with the with the enemy's process, process, man, his program to, to further coming off the top rope, man, with the elbow. She coming off the top. We are we're down and she's coming off the top rope, man, with the knees, man. She is trampolining on our, on our face, man. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it just is what it is. It's no, 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 no bashing of the so-called black woman. Well, I'm, you know, because we're all Israelites and we're all in a, in a, in a, in a fix. But you just got to realize, man, hey, you got to use wisdom, man. She's not the one to be dealing with right off like this. It just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. And if you 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 dealing with, you know, you you feeling like you have met one. Man, you got to just vet it. Be careful. Shit, that's best I could tell you. And, and now it's not the time to be even, you know, not to be, you know, you running off into a raw, you having kids. Nah, man, nah. You playing yourself, man. And anyway. What's all of them?